Welcome back to a brand new episode of Non-Typical Nation. I'm your host, Brody Teal. On this week's episode, we are hunting whitetails in Alberta. We've got my wife, Amy, and myself, both with whitetail buck tags. Now this hunt is definitely the hardest hunt to produce each year. And the reason is, is we spend so many days every year hunting these bucks. This last year was no different. We spent right around 15 days in total before we filled our two tags. So what we did is we kept this episode exciting. We took the most action-packed days and put them into one episode. So we got two bucks down and we had a ton of fun doing it. We're gonna kick things off on a nice October day with our kids. We set up on a cut block and just sat and waited and seen what happened. Now, the moral of this segment here is just take your kids out hunting and get them out of the truck. You know, I can't stress enough Kids in the truck hunting, it's just not as fun for them as it is having their boots on the ground, sitting in a tree stand, sitting in a blind, or even just on a cut block on some deadfall. You never know what you'll see. And if you have some critters coming out, I'll tell you one thing, it's gonna be a heck of a lot more exciting seeing them out there than having to jump out of the truck and hope you can make something happen. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna jump right on into this episode. Enjoy. <laughs> okay guys, here we are. It's October 3rd today. This is our first day of deer hunting as a family. Um, beautiful, cool morning. We uh, seen a few deer here already, but um, it's just sort of a you know a low stress hunt here. Um, what we've been trying to do is not drive around in the truck because it's just not fun for the kids. So what we've been doing is setting up on cut blocks like this one, and uh, sit on a pile of deadfall or set up a box blind and just watch watch nature, watch the animals do their thing. Sometimes you don't see anything, but when you do, it's super special because those deer a lot of times don't even know you're there. Anyways, it's, uh, it's about 9 a.m. right now. We got out here a little bit later, um, so we're just moving on to another new spot and gonna sit down for a couple more hours and see if we can see anything. Are you ready to have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Uh, uh. Oh. He's got his deer call ready. You ready, Jack? Yeah. Awesome. Let's go, buddy. Okay. So we found a bit of a bedding area in this cut block. Um, luckily, I did bring a Reconico trail camera with me today. We're gonna get it set up on this tree here and just see exactly what's in the area before we head out today. Trail cameras are another super fun way to keep the kids involved in this stuff. Um, it's always super exciting, I know for you and me, and even Rhett, when we get new pictures of deer on the camera. We love seeing what's around, and it just fuels the fire in them as well to come out as much as it does us. So we're gonna get another trail camera set up here, one of these Reconico trail cameras that sends the photos directly to our phone, and then we'll know exactly what is out in this area before we, uh, before we come back next time. So we're gonna get this set up and then we're gonna head out boys, okay? Okay. Let's go. Okay guys, there we go. Another Reconico cellular trail camera set up. I'm excited, Rhett's excited, Jackson's excited. And next time we come out, we'll have a lot better idea of what critters are in the area because this camera right here is gonna keep us updated. Until then guys, take a kid out hunting. Next segment, we're gonna jump right on in to our first hunt where we finally seen some deer here in Alberta. Enjoy. Non-typical nation is made possible by these great brands. Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Antler Obsession, Canada's number one big game supplement and attractant. Tacticam, share your hunt. APA Archery, we are not the same. Badlands Canada, it's all in your approach. Dave Booth Taxidermy, Northern Alberta's foremost wildlife studio. Black Bear Remedies, proven skincare products derived from bear oil and other natural ingredients. 
222 Metalworks, Reconico Outdoors, Black Widow Innovations, Smith Game Calls, Kodiak LED Lighting, Skinner Creek Hunts, Devin Chavez Hunting, Primal Outfitting, Battle River Cree Outdoors, Pure Passion Outfitting, Alberta Bush Adventures. This segment is brought to you by Tacticam. Share your hunt. So we've made it a priority to take the kids out as much as we can. Get out of the truck, set up in a tree stand, a blind, or even some deadfall, and just watch nature unfold. Now it was several hunts before we seen our first few bucks this year. Jackson and I had our first hunt, just the two of us together, and we were lucky enough to call a few bucks out. Now they weren't anything huge, but for him and I, it was definitely exciting. This segment, we're gonna jump right on into that hunt. Enjoy. What's going on guys? It is November 13th today. Jackson and I are sneaking out into the tower blind that I built this summer. Me and Amy have hunted it a few times with no luck, but the action in this cup block has been pretty good these last few days. So it is about 6.45 right now. Hunting start time is in a little under an hour. Um, we've got a little ways to go down this road and then we're gonna pop in the blind and uh, sit tough till hunting start time comes. Hopefully we get lucky today. Yeah. We'll see, this is the first time we've hunted together in a couple of years, hey? Yeah. We ne I never hunted in that in that box blind with you. No, you haven't. He's never hunted in the box just, blind with me. I just sit it in there when you were addicting the camera up that time. That's right. So we're super excited. We're gonna sit the morning and see if we have any luck. Let's do her. Awesome. Dude, do this. That's Okay guys, it is almost 12 o'clock right now. Jackson ran out of hot chocolate and uh, we haven't seen a deer in about three hours so it is time to go. We had fun though, we've seen a couple deer. Jackson's got ants in his pants. Hey, I don't. Well, I spotted a deer but I don't want ants in my pants. He did spot the deer so super cool. But we're gonna sneak out of here and I think Amy and I are gonna sit here tomorrow so. Uh, I spot three deer. Two, well, oh, yeah. he said he spot three deer. I didn't see the third well, one. Well, I called but... one deer. I called two. Yes. I called two deer in. Yeah, he called both of the deer in, so pretty cool. But we're going to get out of here, and Amy and I are going to come back in here tomorrow and see if we can get one of these bucks. Let's go. Oh, man, Old Smokes, that is a great cup of coffee. And I really like the ambience in your shop here with all these wonderful racks on the wall. Yeah, we smoke roast these little buggers. We don't conventionally roast them like the other guy. We finally bring the natural flavors. Come on, you guys. You're always talking about racks. You gotta check out my rack. I just picked this thing up this morning. How do you like them? Use code NONTYPICAL for 10% off your order today. This segment is brought to you by Dave Booth Taxidermy, Northern Alberta's foremost wildlife studio. Now those definitely weren't the mature bucks we were after, but for Jackson to call those deer out and for me to experience that with him, it was absolutely priceless. That was a moment we've now talked about several times. 
Now, we've had a few hunts with very little action since then, but right at that sort of peak rut time, mid-November, me and Amy got out for a sit. It was quiet all morning until we heard some crashing in the bush, and we're just going to jump right on into that action. Enjoy. so we still have time but yeah we've done a little bit of rattling a little bit of calling and we're just gonna wait and see if something something shows Absolutely wild guys oh my gosh you know we've been waiting for that moment for a long time we've sat several hours in here I think Amy just killed that buck I think you dropped him I hope so God holy smokes that's a big deer too um we're gonna give it 15 minutes that small buck just walked off I'm pretty sure that's the same one that that came chasing that big one I'd be lying if I wasn't, if I said I wasn't tempted to shoot that thing because that would be wicked to get a double. But we gotta get this one taken care of. We gotta make sure that she got it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it worked. I, I can't believe I did it. Okay guys, here it is. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I was losing hope. Um, every sit that we've done has been dead, no action. So when we heard this guy and another buck crashing around, it definitely got the adrenaline pumping. And uh, you know, it was a quick shot, but I'm so glad that I could make it work. Yeah, it happened super quick. We heard some crashing in the bushes behind us. I looked at Amy, I said, that's a deer. And it wasn't long after we heard a grunt and then we heard some antlers thrashing together. Moments later, this buck came barging right out of the back of the cut block and he was cruising. I made out a couple of quick grunts and she made a perfect shot. But uh, I knew it was gonna happen quick because these deer, they're just cruising through here. And he had another buck chasing him. He was, he had no intentions of stopping until, until we forced him to stop. And Amy made a perfect shot. The buck went 20 yards into the bush. Um, absolutely thrilling. She got an incredible Alberta whitetail.
If you've ever gone to the range by yourself and tried to spot your own impacts, you know what a challenge that is. Connect your Tacticam LR to your smart device. Problem solved. This segment is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. So that happened super, super quick. You know, we heard some thrashing in the bush and all of a sudden this big buck was right in front of us. I hit record, Amy pulled the trigger and the rest is history. We captured it on film, barely, but we did, and I'm super glad we could share it with you guys. Now, we still have one more buck that hit the ground, and that was mine. You know, it didn't come easy, guys. I had another three or four sits after Amy's with very little action, and I was holding out for, you know, a mature deer is what I wanted. It doesn't come easy in northern Alberta here. We have no fields to sit over, so what we do is we're sort of hunting these cut blocks with some scrape lines along the the edges the deer do use them as travel routes and sometimes they feed in them so that's what we're banking on so we've got a you know mid-november day it's an absolute blizzard and i'm just hoping i can get lucky what's going on guys it is november 21st today um, we've got a lot of snow we're expecting 30 centimeters within 24 hours it's cold. This is going to be the coldest sit of the year for me so far. Um, it's dropping down to about minus 22 by noon and a lot of snow. Um, the deer have been moving here last night and uh, I had to drive through a blizzard to get here. As you can see, I uh, broke the trail and uh, yeah, it's coming down pretty good. So I'm going to hurry up, get my butt in the stand. I'm a few minutes behind. It's about 740 right now, hunting start times and about 10 or 12 minutes so I'm gonna hurry up sneak into the stand and get set up hopefully we have some action today you know time's ticking but uh, we've got a job to do and that's to kill a big buck spiker just chased that doe right out of the block. There's a fawn in here that was with her and he just ignored the fawn. The doe went running and he chased her. We got a really good wind. It's cold. It's middle of middle to mid-November so peak run is right now and I'm just thrilled that I can take advantage of it. We're just hoping Boys come out to play soon. Here he is, guys. 
Right there, fantastic. Oh, I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled. It's just been an incredible morning and this just topped it off, absolutely topped it off. He wasn't the target buck. I think this is a new buck. I don't think we've had him on camera before, but everything was absolutely perfect. This was it, he came out. I could tell his G2s are pretty good on either side. Video was perfect. And I said, it's go time, let's knock this baby down. And we got him. Look at that. Absolutely thrilled. Thank you, buddy. Well, guys, here he is. Look at that. Just absolutely stunning. He's got real dark, you know, reddish, brownish antlers. We haven't had this buck on camera a whole lot. Um, I seen him come in, I seen it was a mature buck, and uh, it just felt right. It felt like this was the one, and I am beyond pumped that I got him. You know, we've had a bit of a blizzard these last 16, 12 hours, and he's just got ice frozen all over him. These bucks are so darn tough. It's minus 20 right now, and they are doing their thing, and uh, it is absolutely incredible. Look at this, guys. Look at this deer. Yes. I came in here, and there's deer running around all over here. We found a good spot. We set up the blind in the summertime, and uh, the deer just got used to it. They were using this cup lock just to travel through. He had a scrape line right on the corner of it, and uh, sure enough, 11 o'clock, he came in and I laid the smack down. Check that out, guys. Check that out. Absolutely stunning.